Good morning. So I am sure, positive even, that I've done a Yorkie hand video. Um, but Yorkies are my favorite to groom, and like I feel like I'm always tweaking things at least a little bit, and like it won't hurt to do like an extra video, right? So, and is anybody gonna complain? If you're gonna complain, then just don't watch it. That's stupid. So anyway, we're gonna start out with our Creativa. I've got a wall diamond blade on it, and I have it set to a 15 to tip the ears. I, kind of, I prefer to kind of start with the tipped ears when I'm doing Yorkie heads. Um, and I do 15 on him because he's always gotten them done. Like if it's a new puppy or maybe a dog you're worried about irritation with, you could do like a 10. Um, I just find like a 15 or a 30 even looks really nice for me personally. So anyway, we're gonna tip the ears first. Easy. And then we are going to take our fresh shears. I have the 6.5s to do um, around the edges of the tipped ears. So pull it down. I use like my nails and stuff to kind of block so I don't accidentally get the ear leather. I just kind of take the hair with my fingers and pull it down the opposite way of how it wants to grow. Okay, just like so. It's really easy, you guys. You don't have to overcomplicate it. So again, on both sides. It's a walker nerd. I am. I think um, I'm gonna get something to like block my window back here because like literally the other day I had two different times that I like had people like staring in my window at me, trying to get my attention while I was grooming. <laughs> Not the time or the place. I'm trying to work on your neighbor's dog. So. Anyway, um, yeah, so we've got, in, we did the ears. Okay, so now we're gonna do, um, God, my nail just scared me. I thought I saw blood, but it's orange. Okay, so now we're gonna do in between the eyes. He always gets like really bad eye goobers, so we're gonna focus on that area first and clean out all of this. Okay, you guys don't get mad at me. I'm, I'm doing my best, okay? so. eye corners. Very good. You can see. Hey, that's actually not a bad angle, right? Okay. So, usually two times we'll do it. I do it the first time and then just go back one more time and just make sure that I'm going to go ahead and trim up into the um, bridge between their nose here. So the next thing I'm doing, I'm going to comb all of this forward, give them the emo swoop. Alright. Now I'm going to take my little curves again and cut him a little visor. And again, two times at least. You can do three if you really want to. Usually two times will do it for me. I'm gonna give him a bowl cut. It always looks bad before it looks good. So don't worry. Okay. And then what you can do is grab your comb weird because of your nail. <laughs> don't do that, I'm kidding. Um, and then I brush it all backwards too. And then I'm gonna take his ear and go behind. Kind of start cutting him a little toupee. I'm just gonna go ahead and go behind this ear too. Trim all this out. I like he gets like a seven on his body, so we want this short. Okay. So just clean some of that off of his face. All right. So same thing over here. Poppy like totally despises my existence, but he's also like really good. Okay, so now that we did that, we can kind of press everything to the side and connect. Let me have to put 
put him on the loop just to keep his head up. I will do that sometimes if they're hanging their head a lot. Um, I'll just, uh, just for their head. I don't mind for like the rest. It's a trick when they're like half an inch tall is to get the loop where it's not like choking them, but it is keeping their head up. under his chin. Oh god, I almost cut my own finger. I'm so bad about that. About like sticking my finger in spots. <laughs> like I'll be so aware of like the, where the dog's anatomy is and then I cut myself. I'm like seriously. Okay. Alright, so now we pretty much have like the top how we want it, right? So now we're going to start working our way towards the beard. I'm going to brush all of this forward and out like so. I'm going to take these shears again. Wash your finger. I swear to God, I get my finger right here more than almost anywhere else when I'm grooming. I'll go like across and snip my finger <laughs> more times than I'd like to. Okay. So here. I'm just going to clone this back. That's why I like doing this with my curve shears too, is they kind of start getting that angle that you want. And I found recently that I kind of like, I used to only go like this angle when I was screaming and now I kind of like doing actually a little both. And once I get it across the bottom how I want, I'm gonna brush everything forward. I'm gonna snip that. And one more thing I'm gonna do for him, because he's missing teeth and he sucks his hair into his mouth. Um, he always gets like these weird lumpy, crumpy things. I don't even know what you call it, like this thing. Can you even see that on his lip? Probably not, but there's like a little thing. So with my 30 still, I'm just gonna shave his little lips. <laughs> Sorry. You said this what the fuck you did to me. Yeah, it's because you suck your lips. Okay, so now we pretty much have like the length and everything set how we want. I'm going to take him back off of this because now we're into texturizing. I'm really glad you just did that because that helps us see. Can you hear us? Yeah? Oh, you guys can see. Okay. So now I'm just going to take my seven that I'm using on his body and run around his head one more time. Get all that stuff like kind of even out. So that way we can be done and go in and texturize and that'll be it. Now, I've talked about this before, um, but we have shears for different purposes. So like your straight and your curved shears, the ones that have solid blades all the way through, those are meant to take bulk out. So that's why we want to start with those. And then you can go in with your thinners and texturize once you already have all the bulk how you want it, but like you take all that off, and then you go in with your texturizers and diffuse 
that line. And that's just gonna save you a lot of time rather than going through and trying to cut everything with your thinners. So easier on your hands um, if you're not sitting there and chopping like a thousand times. So, you know, it's easier on your hands. Um, it's faster to go in with your thinners rather than to sit there, or sorry, faster go in with your curves first rather than sitting all there, there all day with your thinners. Um, and you can still get the same exact result. That's the thing is like the same exact result. Like there's really no reason to go in unless you were maybe concerned that you would end up going too short by doing it this way, but I really doubt you would. I think you'd be fine personally. So you can see I'm just texturizing at this point. I'm just diffusing any harsh lines. Um, on like his actual like where his teeth are because I know he doesn't have a lot. Y'all teeth Stevie's teeth are not looking good. It's a topic for another day, but okay. And I'm just gonna finish up this mustache. Blend all that in. Um and again I, I really I wouldn't worry about going too short because you're probably not unless you're somebody that just chops shit off if you had like complaints that you went too short then maybe that's different but you're probably fine okay it's kind of a little gross thing right there all right you guys so that's really it um super easy like i said um, yeah, I hope that was helpful. I, like I said, start with the tip ears. That's just the way that I find it's easiest for me, but you do whatever works for you. Um, I just find the best thing to do is to start and finish in the same spot. So there's Mr. Poppy's little Yorkie head. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I don't know if my ear pulled out. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me do like a thumbnail because I, I never do. And then I go back later and then I don't have a thumbnail and like everything is like me talking. I'm like, I'm like making like the worst face. I'm like, oh my God. So anyway, there's Mr. Poppy. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.